Hey guys, just wanted to do a really quick, easy quote update today for you. So I'm just going to run through some of the new features and functions that we've uh, that we've added on to, to easy quote of late. Uh, there's a couple of things in there. We're, we're constantly adding new features and functions to the tool. So uh, I'll probably be doing one of these every every month or so. Um, so keep an eye out for that. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe uh, to the channel on, on YouTube. And uh, and that means you'll, you'll get the most up-to-date information as, as it comes out. So let me go ahead and just share my screen here. Um, so as you can see, I'm on the easy quote login page here for anyone who hasn't used this before. The way to get there is to go to ezquote.clenergy.com and, um, and then you can see there's actually some, some username and password details here, uh, where you can log in. I've already pre-entered those in there. So I'll just go ahead and click the login button. Uh, okay, so this brings you into the main page. Uh, the first thing I want to show you, uh, which is the PV array uh, row spacing calculator. So if you click into here, what this is going to do is based on a little bit of information, it's going to tell you uh, approximately what your row spacing should be to avoid uh, shading uh, as much as possible. I think it's based on uh, the winter solstice, um, you know, north facing between 10 a.m. And, and 2 p.m. Um, and so when you come in here, you just select your product. You've got options, anything with a tilt on it, basically. So you've got your standard tilt legs, your tripods, commercial tilt is in there as well, and your solar terrace ground mount. So I'll just go with a uh, simple tilt leg for today. And then you just put in your panel length. So in this case, it's I'll leave it at 1960, panel width by 992. And the tilt angle, let's make this, I don't know, let's say 15 degrees. And then you want to put in your latitude and the way to figure this out is there's a little handy little uh, guide here. If you just click the, this question mark, it'll throw you into a location examples for different latitudes. So, cause I'm based in Melbourne. Let's see. So let's go Labyrinth. Oh, here we go. Mount Gambier, Melbourne. All right. So Melbourne is 37.8. So I just go back in here. I type in 37.8. Throw that in there and then just hit calculation. And so what this does is, uh, as you can see, it gives you a handy little diagram. You can, you know, copy and paste this into a uh, document if you want. Uh, so it tells you the height of the system, uh, which in this case it's in millimeters. So 507 mil uh, is the height from the roof to the uh, to the panel there. And the row spacing should be at least uh, 1,000 or roughly a meter in this case. So yeah, handy little tool, uh, keen to, get you guys on there give us some feedback. If you like it, don't like it, whatever it is, let us know. Um, next up also we've got, okay. So uh, we've now added in the ability to add ground screws to your uh, solar terrace quotations for ground mounts. So if you click into there, I'll just quickly run you through to where it shows you how to do this. Um, you'll have to put in a project name. I'll just put test for now and customer name. Let's go Australia. Let's say we're in Victoria. And you want to select Solar Terrace 3A, uh, which is the system that we uh, designed for that's most compatible with, with ground screws. So we click next, come through, you put in your panel details. I'll leave it as it is for now. Framed, yeah, that's fine. Panel wattage 370, we'll leave that. And you come through here to your system parameters where you'll, you know, just select your rail combinations, your clamp types, all those sort of things. And uh, I'll just basically leave it as it is for now. That's fine. And then you come into your certified spacing uh, page, and this is where you're going to select your ground screws. So I'll say I'm in wind region A, which I am, tilt angle, leave it at 30 degrees. Footings, I can either select concrete, which means you would have uh, concrete pads or uh, strip footing or, you know, uh, individual, individual um, concrete pylons, those sort of things. But in this case, uh, we want to go with the ground screws option. So we click ground screws. Next is going to ask you for a little bit of information about the soil. Uh, let's just say it's, it's a firm soil. Um, and then it'll give you the maximum frame spacing. This is the spacing between your legs and, and then also the install frame spacing at this, uh, which can be adjusted if you wish, uh, if you wanted to do it every meter or 
um, as long as it's less than the uh, the max frame space. And this is referring to our generic engineering certs that we've put together for this. So you go next, and then you put in your number of panels. Let's just say it's a 20 panel system. So two rows of 10 panels, one array. Next. And you can see that we've got the bill of materials here and you should see ground screws. There we go. So it's specced up the ground screws. It's given you the 1600 mil ground screws for the back legs and the 1300 mil for the front legs. And you've got 10 of each there. It's also giving you the bolts uh, for the attachment for the ground screws to the Solter S3A as well. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, if you've got any questions about that one, feel free to give uh, the tech guys a call on the tech line, which is 039-239-8088. And I think it's uh, select option one or two. And um, and they can walk you through or answer any questions or inquiries about you know how to figure out the soil types and, and all those sort of things. So uh, what else have we got? Okay, next up is uh, something in the roof mount section uh, where we've got a couple of new products that have been added. So once again, I'll just throw test in here just as a test and whatever, I'll leave it as is. Uh, but now you can also select, so add to our tilt range, uh, a product that's been out for a while, but it was only really made available for commercial installs on a like site specific engineering basis in the past. But we've now done generic engineering certs for our ERTL 5PS, which is our five degree fixed tilt leg um, option and our ERTL, ERTL 10 PS, uh, which is a fixed 10 degree tilt leg uh, option. Really economic solution for those large uh, commercial jobs. Uh, and now you've got an option in there to, uh, to select those um, and utilize those as well moving forward. Um, on top of that, uh, you, we've also got a, a, an option here where I'll just make it a, a flush tin job for a minute. There's a new product uh, which we've re just released, which is our Defender Solar Skirts or Bird Blockers. And they've been added now to the tool as well. So once you click through, you select your, it has to be a flush install. Obviously, they're not suitable for tilts. But if you select flush tin or flush tile, you come through here, you put your panel dimensions in as usual. You click through. And then as you come down here, you can see you've got an option now on the system parameters page where you can select solar skirts for PV panels. And so um, basically if you click uh, through here, it'll show you what they look like. This is what you're specifying. Each, each one that you order is a, is a meter in length. So basically when you select yes here, you go in for total quantity. Um, you know, if, you, if you're doing a, uh, I don't know, you might, let's say you want 20 meters for a, um, for a small system. Uh, we'll click next. I'll just get rid of those shrouds for a minute and it'll spit you through to the certified spacing. And then you can just, you know, do your normal thing in there, click through. I just want to show you that it comes up on the bill of materials here. Um, let's just make it an eight panel system, for example. And then we should see, yes, we do. We see we've got here on the bill of materials, you've got your solar skirt for PV panels and you've got your solar skirt clips, which are the clips that uh, attach the skirt to the uh, to the panels themselves. If you want more information about that product, there's a really uh, handy video on YouTube. Uh, just set, search up Defender, D-F-E-N-D-E-R, uh, Clenergy, and that'll come up on your on the YouTube channel as well. So that's, that's it for today, guys. Thanks a lot. Um, once again, uh, please like and subscribe uh, to, the, to the channel and, uh, and like the videos and we'll keep on releasing more and more content. Cheers.